What's going on, smart people? When is the last time we played a physics game? It's been way too long, so today, that's what we're doing. We're playing a game called Archive vs. Snarkive. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to decide which is a real physics paper and which one is a real fake physics paper based off of nothing but the title. So let's get started. As always, I will leave a link in the description so that you can play along with me, or just watch for yourself. Just sit back and relax and watch someone play a physics game. Cool, let's get started. So the first one says, two stage inflation discovered by Polkiev's equations. And the second one is Yukawa textures in Harava Witten M theory. So, what we have to do is out of those two, which one's real, which one's fake, we just gotta choose the real one. Uh, out of those two, just off to a great start. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick the second one. Okay, uh, I just recognize more of the words in there, so let's see. And that's why I'm here, because as an, as an intellectual, uh, you can trust me to get these right every single time. Towards abelian localization and fro frozen yogurt bound and gluon number fluctuations. Um, the first one just doesn't sound like it contains enough information for someone who's like interested in a specific field to know what it's about to be about. Maybe I'm just an idiot though, but I think if I was in whatever field that is and I, I, I'm looking through papers to be like, which ones pertain to my research, that just doesn't seem like it's giving me enough. So I'm gonna pick the second one and there we go, there we have it. This is how you are. Sci this is how you become a scientist. This uh, third one, a certain notion of representation theory. Again, that just doesn't sound very specific, but who am I to say? Uh, patterns of spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking in the large NC limit of QCD-like theories. You see that? Sounds super specific, I don't know. Uh, so maybe that's a way to win me over and in any kind, just give me a paper that sounds super specific and I guess I'll buy it, because I think it's gonna be this one again. Whew. Okay, moving on. Towards equations of string theory supported on R to the N. The cross section of E plus E minus annihilation into hadrons of order alpha sub S to the fourth N sub F squared in per perturbative QCD. When in doubt, which one's the most specific? That sounds, you see, if it sounds vague and interesting, you're doing it wrong. It's gotta be specific and dull sounding. There we go, there we go. Are you guys learning? <laughs> semi -elept the the semi-lepton, oh, semi-leptonic B to K1 decays in QCD. Some rules, super algebras. Again, what have we been learning in this video so far? Go with the specific one. Ed, is that you? No, this is Andrew, a much higher intellectual. Right. I, by the way, I have no idea how many questions there are here. We could be here for days, and I'm committed to that, as long as you are. Towards general relevant operators, a look at the discretized superstring using random matrices. I feel like the, the, there was another one, wasn't there, that started with towards and that one wasn't right? So when in doubt, don't pick the one that starts with towards. Those never are scientific papers. There we go. <laughs> this is going much better than I thought it would. Towards the alternative compactification of models in inhomogeneous inflation, or dielectron and diphoton channels in, H, right, in two HDM. See, these sound much more comparable. Um, oh, what is this down here? Oh, I guess it actually gives the papers? That's pretty cool. Towards the alternative compactification of models and inhomogeneous inflation, this might be the one that I mess up on. And I'm at zero deaths. Compactification, what is that? Like, um, my, my, my uh, my popular science knowledge is, is, is buzzing right now because isn't that like, uh, like hiding dimensions somewhere, or like curling up dimensions. Let's go with the. F oh no, that one starts with towards. It's got to be the other one. Mom, I'm doing it. Natural CP violation uh, criteria for this minimal supersymmetric standard model towards gravitational duality in models of dions. See, they're not gonna get me because now now it's foolproof. Now we're three for three for the ones that don't have towards in it. I don't even have to read the rest of the title. Uh, but what is this? Natural CP violation 
uh, criteria for minimal supersymmetric standard model. Let's go with the first one. This is archive, not snarchive. I guess we'll go to like 20. We'll just we'll just see if we can go 20 for 20. And then what you guys have to do is you have to comment your score whenever you take this quiz. Um, see if you can be a member of the smart people. And and and. And low moments of event shapes in E plus E minus annihilation, extending non gut models for instanton liquids and ghost production. I actually found out relatively recently that ghost particles are a real thing. Or at least, like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, NNLO moments of event shapes, extending non-gut models. I bet it's gonna be that one. These are getting tougher. These are getting much more difficult. They all sound kind of real. I don't know what a GUT model is. I don't know what an instanton liquid is. And I've heard of a ghost particle. Let's just do it. We're going with this one. No! The streak ends there, but let's keep going. So right now we are eight correct out of nine total guesses. So let's go to ten, let's go to twenty. So long as there's twenty questions, I'm like I said, I have no idea. Um, it seems like they started to feel bad for me though because the other one is just called pions, an alternative NMSSM phenomenology with manifest perturbative unification. It just sounds so silly now. So I went from uh, I went from I think Nobel Prize to postdoc, which I'll take it. Uh, let's go with the first one. There's no way someone wrote a paper that's just called pions. I I refuse. Okay, cool. I, I saw that we're still one apart. That scared me for a second, but we got it right. Super conformal Chern Simmons theory surrounded by an 8 bn singularity. Vacuum tunneling and gravity. These all sound like theoretical theoretical papers too. Wait, I was right, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, sorry. Vacuum tunneling and gravity. It's got to be the first one. I mean, what? What? Is, what? No, no. Come on. It obviously I. Come on, never mind. The masses and decay widths of heavy high, I think I was just getting cocky, and I'm sorry for letting you down. The masses and decay widths of heavy hybrid mesons, explaining geometric Langlands duality in a total and a total low energy in a totally low energy effective theory on warped K3s fragmentation functions in unconventional models of entropy. Well, I know what fragmentation functions are. Uh, I know what an effective field theory is. Maybe that's sort of what that is. No idea what Tota Tota is. Masses and decay widths of heavy hybrid mesons. Would someone name their paper off of something that's unconventional? Mm. Oh, they're getting closer too with my score. Now it just says second year grad student. Uh oh, they're catching on. Uh, I'm gonna go with... I don't know, there's something about that unconventional model that just doesn't, doesn't hit the ear right, so I'm gonna go with the first one. I think that's... I got that right. Yes, I got that right. Whew. Okay, a simple Dirac wave function for a Coulomb potential with linear confinement, or amplitudes and bosonic strengths compactified on SUM quotients of EXT to the N, I'm not, whatever that, okay, quotients of affine bundles over T to the M conjectured through vortex equations. Uh, well, that just sounds too trivial. So it's gotta be the first, a simple Dirac wave function. Man, I don't know. These got so much more difficult. These, this, this went to expert mode. I think, and bosonic strings compactified. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go with the first one. Whew. That was, to be honest, that was a complete guess. Uh, that meant nothing. The second one just, just, it, uh, get confused me. <laughs> Dark matter sterile neutrinos and models with gauge singlet in the Higgs sector, or on E7 singularities on the surface of the sun. I don't know what E7 is, singularities. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the first one. Dark matter sterile neutrinos. Do I want? Do I really want to go with that one? Dark matter and models with gauge singlet in the Higgs sector. Oh, I'm back to postdoc too. I'm moving my way back up. I'm starting to break the system. Ooh. Man, I, th I really thought I was gonna do pretty well. I thought I thought the context would be enough to, to distinguish between like the bullshit and the real papers. I'm going to flip a coin. I don't have a coin but I do have my hair stuff. So, heads, the first one, tails, the second one, because I'm really not sure. Obviously, it's gotta be the first one. That's what, yep, that's our system. That's our system, it's foolproof. It has never not, it has never failed me. Minimal approaches to the SUSE CP problem. That already sounds promising. Unless who would call it who would call their paper minimal though? Casimir effect on the Nambu Gatto string with Gauss Bonnet term and point like masses at the ends. <sighs> minimal approaches to this. So it's like which one? The one that is way too modest about what it's doing, or the other one that just sounds like all of the other string theory papers? I bet it's the string theory paper. I'm gonna go with that one. Yes. Okay, we're at postdoc. Let's see if we can go back up. I don't remember what the next highest up. I think it was like Nobel Prize winner, but uh, so maybe there is no in between. Maybe that's just the natural progression of my career. Geometric Langlands duality and supersymmetric RS2 as BPS operators on moduli spaces of hyperkähler Kaler symmetric spaces fibered over F4 orbifolds of hyperkaler linear dilation backgrounds. You couldn't, oh my god, like could you even type, like what if you had a physicist like that who was an avid Twitter user? Could you even type all that? You Could you even type the name of your paper on Twitter? But guys, the wait's over. I published geometric lengthless duality, supersymmetric RS2, blah, 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 blah. No, it would cut you off. There's a character limit, right? I'm not too sure because I don't really use Twitter. <laughs> Black holes on solitons in string theory. And solitons in string theory. That first one, it sounds misleadingly specific. So I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with the second one. Do you see that? Are you impressed? <laughs> Alright, how many more? We got four more to go. Right now we're at 88%. I have a feeling if I get to 90% it might shift to a different uh, to a different position. So probable approaches to the flavor problem. N equals eight gauged supergravity theory and N equals six superconformal Chern Simmons matter theory. That sounds like it that sounds like the Goldilocks zone of specific without being just like overly wordy. I think it's that one. So I'm gonna go with the second one but I wouldn't be surprised if it is the first one. Except for I know it's gonna be the second one because I actually wrote this paper. Let's see, I'm just gonna, yeah. N Nam's equations in supergravity with gauge group E8 deformed by loop F terms found through the Hitchin, Hitchin conditions. Renormalization of bi algebra in operads. Yeah, no, I don't think it's that one. Nam's equations in supergravity First off, I've never heard of supergravity before. Uh, I have no idea what that is. I don't really know, I don't know what E8 is either. Deformed by loop F terms found through the Hitchin conditions. Sounds good to me, man. I was wrong! That's a first, except for the other times. <laughs> All right, two more questions. Now we're back to second year grad student. Progress in vortices and topologically twisted unparticle physics. Unparticle physics. Okay. 
using invisible graviton radiation to detect heavy electroweak resonances at 500 GeV E plus E minus collider. No, it can't be that. Using invisible graviton radiation. First off, graviton radiation? I'm not convinced that's a thing. And I don't think someone would use the word invisible. I think that they would say something like this side of the spectrum. Well, but I'm thinking of like EM spectrum. So I guess I guess if you have like gravitational waves, yeah, have they categorized? Like I, I, I'm pretty sure no one's actually observed graviton. I think that would be much like huge and groundbreaking. Uh, but we have discovered gravitational waves. I'm not sure if they've broken up sections of I guess wavelengths of that. That might be a super stupid question, and just ignore me. Uh, but I'm just gonna say that it's not that one. Progress in vortices and topologically twisted on particles. Yes. No! That means there's an experiment? What? Using invisible graviton radiation. To detect that I, that's I'm gonna open that link in a new tab and we're gonna come back to that one or I'm gonna come back to that one because that shocks me what the hell does that even mean okay current quark mass effects on chiral phase transitions of QCD in the improved ladder approximation and new approaches to the little hierarchy problem yes I'm gonna go with the first one wish me luck I hope I haven't failed you. Okay, so we're back to second year grad students. So we did better than I should have. Because I'm like a f four, fourth day grad student. Okay, but that's how well I did. This was actually kind of, this was kind of interesting. They were all very super theoretical sounding papers. Except for that, whatever this is, using invisible graviton radiation to detect heavy electroweak resonances at a 500 GeV E plus E minus collider. That one blew my mind. There's so much I don't understand about the name of that paper, but it also sounds super experimental, which is why it makes no sense to me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys got if you did the whatever out of 20. Uh, like, how many you got out of 20? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you guys there.